What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. All right, guys, we're going back to another Mars Gigapan. Now, some of you guys may ask me for the original NASA link. Keep in mind, all of these photos that Neville and these other guys that do these Gigapans are actually taken from NASA. These are not made up. These are the actual real deal. And NASA has made it more difficult for you to try to find these photos. I don't know if a lot of you guys are trying to find these yourself, but guess what? Now you got to go through this categorical number B BS and all kinds of other crap just to get to it. Kind of crazy. Easiest way to do it is the Gigapan because then you've got so much more to look for inside these pans because it's all the photos that were from a certain uh, day or saw, right? So let's have a look at this. This is from, again, 1448. Here it is right here. And this, again, Neville Thompson, uh, credit goes to him for this Gigapan. He puts a lot of work into these. And you can see the size of it is a 5.268 gigap gigapixel. So it's almost five and three quarter gigapixels. Pretty large, right? And you can see it was uh, date it was added was November 19th, 2019. Now... Lee Brandon gets full credit for this, at least as far as I know, he's the one has found this. Now, this was posted on December 2nd, what, four days ago? And he posted it in a Facebook page called Paradigm Shift. And I'll give you guys the link to that page if you want to check out other finds as well as his, right? All right. Again, guys, to me, this just shouts intelligently made. You guys, as always, can be the judge. I'm going to show you this thing. Uh, and then I'm going to show you some other objects. Let me show you one of the smallest ones just above this first, right? So let's go above here. See if I can even find it because it's all mixed in very well. Uh, they did a great job of really uh, taking this stuff out of the photo or at least hiding it, right? Should be in here, right up here. So check this out. Now, this is just a rock. At least that's what they claim. Let me go ahead and make this bigger too while we're at it. What I find interesting is it looks like this weird rock what looks like these rounded, almost like steel pipes right there. Now, you might say, oh, man, that's just a rock, man. All right, how about this? Guys, I love this. This is like showing you, bam, right in your face again. Another breadcrumb dropped. Okay, check this out. Tell me if you think this is a rock. Check that out, guys. Seriously, what are we looking at here? I see what looks like either rebar shaped in a way that was some kind of construction. And you can see it right here. Look at the way this thing goes up like this. Comes and circles around, goes down here. This one on the other side... Probably goes up around there, too. Or it's just a one big frame piece. And then you have multiple pieces. See this? Going like this, coming down. There's multiple pieces in here. Is it bent frame or rebar or something like that? And you can see these things actually run like this and into the ground. Now, I don't believe this is literally buried in the ground. Because if you look, you can see that they've really tried to take this out. Why they didn't take out this whole thing is beyond me. But there it is. It's right there in your face. And you can see this patterns right here, like they try to, right here in this whole area, take it out, right? But why not take out the rest of us? Some of you guys have asked this. Well, I believe, again, slow disclosure. They're leaving these things for people to find if you're inquisitive enough to want to see it. Here you go. To me, again, screams intelligently made. And if you say that's a rock, you may have a screw loose. Because this right here is just more proof of, you know, intelligent life on Mars, or at least past life. Whether it is still there or not is immaterial. Now, I can see rocks here, guys. I can see it all over the place. Clearly, that is not a rock. I'm going to go ahead and get real big up in here. There you go. Come on. Check that out. And there's a couple other interesting pieces on here, guys. You just have to look around. But let me show you a couple here. There's one, there's one that he also mentioned right here. This little object right here in this smooth dirt. Check this out. It looks like right here comes down looks like there's a hole or something there right there yeah and you can see where they literally went around with this gray see this right here and went up and around this object and back down why would they leave that one piece out when they can simply just take it out again it boggles the mind because i know you guys have asked oh that doesn't make any sense why would they take all this other crap out but leave that i don't know ask them <laughs> i mean i don't know but i can tell you right now they are actually hiding stuff in this photo and I've got backup confirmation of that, which I will probably be sharing with you guys soon. If I can't get this to work, I'm going to make a video out of it. You'll see what I mean. I know it sounds I'm being a little vague about it, but you'll see what I mean. There's something up here. There's a couple pieces in here somewhere, and I'm trying to remember where this was at. It look like openings in here in the rock. See this? Got pieces on the inside there. 
Somebody, I think somebody said this would look like a statue or something like that sticking out of there. I don't know about all that, but it kind of does. You know what I mean? It has this weird look to it. Okay. Look at this stone right here. Has what looks like, almost looks like a writing on it. See it? Almost like this weird funky four. Has these letters or something. And guys, that may be nothing more than just patterns of the rock. I'm okay with it either way. But check that out. It does have that weird looking writing kind of thing on there. Is it? I don't know. It just has that look about it. Just look at the rocks, these guys, and look at them closely. Sometimes you see things that mm, kind of stand out and don't make any sense at all. This here has this perfect, like, rectangular shape. Comes up, has what looks like little designs in it or carvings. And you get this piece in the back right here on top in the back of it. Look at this here. What is this object right here? Put it in the middle of the screen for you. Right there. This object right here. What is this right here? Looks like it's buried in, the, in this rock. Looks like a... Looks like three uh, sides to a square, and then you've got another square inside it. See that? Right there. Just pay attention to the stuff that's in these photos. A lot of people will look at this stuff and go, um, I see rocks. That's all I see. Look through the rocks. Look closer at these rocks, as they're called. Um, I can promise you they're not just all rocks. I'm not saying that none of this is rocks, guys. I'm just saying a lot of this is being dressed up to look like rocks. This interesting looking block. Okay. Almost looks like this was had an opening, like there's a top, bottom, side, and there was a space inside it at one time. See that? Almost like this might have been hollow. At least it has that kind of weird look to it. Look at this right here. Almost looks like something actually got rotted away. Check out the way that thing did that. Okay. Look at this right here. Yeah, that's a natural rock. What is that? Look at this. Almost looks like it has writing on it as well. See these little details in here? Or it's just little pieces on it. One of the two. Check that out. Just happens to be right there amongst these rocks. Just happens to be sticking out. How about right here? Looks like looks like roots to a tree or something like that coming from here to there. See that? And of course, it's really undefined. We really can't see it too well, so we we can only speculate as usual. That's all we can do. A lot of people, you know, some people come on the channel, they're mad. Oh, it's just pure speculation. Well, of course it is. I don't, I can't confirm what we're seeing is what we say it is. Of course not. Well, this right here. Find that pretty interesting. Looks like a wall type thing of some kind of straight piece coming down. Has a smooth 90 degree angle. Oh, yeah. Simple rocks. And guys, just look at these little details as close as you can without it getting too broken up because you, then you'll lose detail, right? Um, if you get in too far, like, you know, that's... See, you're starting to lose it here. It's close, but you want to zoom back out so nothing becomes, like, super grainy. And you want to try to make out the details as much as possible without going too crazy because, like I said, again, it'll just break up on you and it's not going to do you a bit of good. Anyway, guys, it's just a few things that are in here. I'm sure you guys will find much more uh, than I've seen. But regardless of what it is, stuff is in the photo. 
And I think that's what people need to be more aware of is that the more you look at these things, I'm not saying you look at it until you start to see things. I'm saying just look at it carefully. If you have to, don't zoom in too much. Use your magnifier. Whatever seems to work for you, that's the way you should do it. I found this interesting too. Oh, there's the old bar ahead of my basement. I'm just kidding, but look at this. You can see this looks like either rock next to it or this is just a shadow. As you can see right here, it looks like it has a shadow underneath this. And you can see something right on the back side of this, kind of like the other one we saw at the right-hand side of this. Check that out. It just happened to have a goofy rock that looked like that, right? I'm not saying Mother Nature can't do this, guys, but I just find it a little weird that amongst all of this in the back here, that happens to look like that. Look at this right here. Like the ground was, like it's like opened up and this thing's sitting inside it? Is that possible? I'm sure it's possible, but I mean, it does have a funky look to it, right? Anyway, guys, I'm going to jump on off here and let me know what else you guys find in here because this is interesting stuff. And like, like I said, stuff like this, come on. Undeniable proof right there. Right there. So a big thanks, you know, goes to Lee Brandon for this. Again, if there's somebody else that's seen it before, it's hard to tell. I'll also add their name as well. Um, because like I said, this is, to me, this stuff needs to be put out. A lot of these guys don't have a YouTube channel. This is the reason why I do this. I can help bring out their work. And uh, I give them full credit as usual. Anyway, guys, let me know what you see in here. And throw your thoughts and comments below. Well, me, again, undeniable proof that there was intelligent life on Mars. And they may still be. Just like here on Earth, if we had a catastrophic event, would everybody be completely wiped out? Well, it had to be seriously bad. Like a rock the size of Texas hit this planet at like 27,000 miles an hour. Yeah, it'll probably be end all or be all life on Earth. But... Something a lot smaller, and I mean maybe a tenth of the size of that, yeah, it'll still be catastrophic, but it won't be nearly as bad. And you can almost guarantee we'd still live on. Anyway, guys, don't forget, again, to like and share. Always appreciate it. You guys know that. And I'll see you in the Hangout.